The overall goal of this experimental procedure is to create an ex vivo extracellular matrix known as the Brux membrane culturing system to then observe the effect of Brux membrane on overlaying retinal pigmental epithelial cells. This method can help answer key questions in RPE cell biology and AMD etiology field, such as whether the changes on age Brux membranes contribute to malfunctions of the overlaying RPE cells. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows researchers to isolate native Brooks membrane from a human donor eye of different ages and use them for proteomic study and RPE cell cultures. Isolating Brooks membrane and making an extra vivo culture system with minimum damage to the native Brooks membrane is challenging. But I will show you how in this video. To begin, place a 1.5 square inch gauze soaked in CO2 independent DMEM into a 100 millimeter dish. Then load the eye globe onto the gauze. Next, use a surgical blade to make an incision through the sclera, 3 millimeters posterior to the limbus. Then, use fine blade scissors to make a full thickness incision and circumferentially extend the incision in either direction around the eye. Then, remove and discard the anterior segment, including the cornea, lens, and iris. Also, discard the vitreous and retina. Then, carefully peel the RPE Brux membrane choroid complex off the sclera from the periphery.